Second, you asked these guys if they've ever looked at a woman with lust, and only two admitted, only two admitted it. Wow. Are you homosexuals? No. <laughs> I think they. I think they must be if they don't even look at a woman. With huh? Lust. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're a homosexual? No. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> English. English. Okay, it's a problem a little bit. I'm sorry, I don't know the Tagalog. I'll try and speak okay, a little Okay, that's smaller. what it is. Um, so listen, <laughs> you're busted for adultery? Right there. Now, how do you get to heaven? Anybody? Can anybody tell me how you get to heaven? No. Okay, here's how. You turn away from all your sin. You turn away from your unbelief. Turn away from all your, your profanity, like using bad words, yes. looking at women with lust, homosexuality, lying. You turn away from all that stuff, and you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. And I don't mean just by words only, I mean like a desperate trust. Desperate. Because someday you're going to be accountable. You might think this is just very casually today, but someday you're going to meet God. The Bible says that it's appointed unto man once to die, and then comes judgment. Judgment. It's coming. Every breath you take brings it closer. And your last breath is approaching even now. You don't know when you get on these cool motorcycles, which one of you, 16 or so, is going to have the, the fatal accident tonight. You know how many drunk drivers are out there tonight? Do you, do you think that your chances are good of surviving tonight? Many drunk drivers. You guys aren't drinking, are you? You guys aren't drinking, right? Alcohol? No. 420, I know what 420 is. Hey, point, point to the drunkard. Hey, just, just point to the drunkard, okay? That'll help me out. Hey, he likes pot. He likes pot because 420 is a code word for smoke pot day. Oh. Yeah, 420 guy, 420 guy, pot smoker. Now listen. Pot smoker. Drugies don't go to heaven. The Bible uses the word sorcerer. And the Greek word is pharmacia. It means drug. People who use illicit drugs don't go to heaven. You must repent. How about alcohol? Anybody here gotten drunk before? Yeah, no. Oh, wait, point, point to the drunkard, please. Which one? Which one? You? Drunk? No, uh, Ah. The bigger guy? Drunkard? <laughs> okay, what about what about you guys? You guys seem pretty self righteous. You guys are drunk? Yeah. Once? Everyone is drunk. Like Everyone. Small. Oh, you guys are in big trouble. <laughs> yeah, what what have you done about it to get right with God? Anything? Okay, so you haven't done anything about it, so that means you're still guilty before God. He's going to judge you as a drunkard, and the Bible says drunkards, drunkards do not inherit the kingdom of God. You want to go to heaven? 
You want to go to hell? No. Hell or heaven? Where, where do you want to go? Believe me, God will honor your decision either way. Heaven? Go in heaven. That's good. Heaven? Yep. You? What about you? I didn't know. You better make make up your mind because your last breath is approaching, buddy. How about you guys? Heaven or hell? Heaven? Okay, I'm going to tell you how to get to heaven. It's very simple. This is your last breath. It could be. Hey, but it's very simple. I'm going to tell you how to get to heaven. Who wants to know? Raise your hand. Who wants to know how to get to heaven? Anybody? Okay, right there. Anybody else? Right there, too. Wait a minute, let me stop here. So huh? you're saying you'd rather know how to get to America than get to heaven? Come on, people, shake it up. Do you want to go to heaven or hell? He's trying to tell you something. Heaven, good. Okay, thank you. Two heavens, right here, right here. Oh, wait, you're not undecided. Heaven, heaven, you. Heaven. And the guy, the drug druggie next to you, heaven. <laughs> Hey, hey, people in heaven are there because they don't deserve it. So you 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 won't be alone. There's going to be all these people in heaven who don't deserve it. Who don't deserve So you're going to go to hell? Is that, are you? No? Now listen. Hey, Jesus went to the cross for all your sins. Can you, can you? Oh, yes. Jesus went to the cross for all your sins. So there's nothing so bad that you've done that he can't forgive. The question is, do you want him to forgive you? And do you want to repent from those sins? So are you, are you sick and tired of like all your wickedness, all your sin? Are you willing to give up whatever the, the sins are? Good. You? you? Are you willing to give up all your sins? Yes. All right, how about you right there in the blue? You willing to give up all your sin? Okay, because sin is awful. God hates sin. You don't want to, you don't want to offend God, right? Okay, and these over here, you don't want to offend God, right? God is holy. Bible says, be holy for I am holy. So who here wants to repent tonight? Who's going to repent tonight? Who's going to turn away from sin tonight? I don't think that, there's a hand that a little bit came up, but you don't think so? So what do you want? you want to still continue in sin and keep offending God and, and build up God's wrath on you so that if you die, you're going to go right to hell? Is that what you want? No. That's awful. So this is the choice. You can either repent, turn away from all your sin, wickedness, and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and trust Him. Trust what He did on the on the cross for you. I trust God, but I don't know how to be a follower. Well, Jesus said, do you, love, do you love God? Do you love God? I love God. You do? Well, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. So but it's so hard. Yeah, but if you put your trust in Him, you can. You can overcome sin. I can. Now, here's the deal. When, at, the, at your last day, you're not going to, any excuse you give God, he, he's going to reject. See, you won't have any excuse. But if you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and start obeying Him, then when you face God someday, He's going to say, Oh, that person is clean. Washed away. His sins are washed away. And His faith endured. He obeyed me for the rest of His life. Well done, good and faithful servant. W would you like Him to say that to you? Yes, okay. So what you people need to do is repent from all your sins. Whether it's using God's name in vain, profanity, drunkenness, looking at, at women with lust, or in the case of somebody over here looking at a, another man with lust. Uh, and you put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, like your life depends on it. With desperation, humbleness, humility. <laughs> Yeah, he went to the cross for you. He, he paid that price. He suffered. Somebody pounded nails in his hands. It, it was painful. He suffered. There was blood everywhere. He was ripped. He was ripped again. 
by people who hated him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. His flesh was hanging in threads from his body. Mm-hmm. He was beaten so bad that people couldn't even recognize him. That's right. He did that for you. He said, I'm going to go on that cross and I'm going to take everybody's sin. In fact, he was even called sin. The Father considered Jesus to be sin put on the cross. Mm-hmm. That's awful. Yeah. He did that for you. But if you continue walking in sin, then you're just trampling on what he already did. You're trampling on it. You're saying, I don't value what he did on the cross. I'm going to do things my way. I'm going to sin anyway. And when judgment day comes, which is near, you won't have an excuse. You won't have a savior because you would have trampled on his grace already. Because you can't continue in sin. So turn from sin. You just stop sinning. Turn away from your uh, fornication, bad language, using the Lord's name in vain. If you're a false convert, you go to church, but you're actually a false convert, you're a fake, God will know who the fake is. Mm -hmm. You can't escape God. He sees everything. He sees what's going on inside your heart. 